Right everybody, I had a request from someone to um, do a video of the insides of this Logic 4 metal panel. Um, now, I usually on my demonstrations, I do show the insides of the panels, but on this occasion I forgot, and someone's obviously noticed that because they've asked to see the insides. So, I'll just show you quickly inside the panel. There is a demo demonstration video on this, but this is just a quick video of inside of the insides of the thing, as I forgot to do this in the demonstrations video. Um, so I'll open it up. Obviously, just there's the front of it, another little view. Key switch. There's all your zones. Well, your indicators. Mains, tamper, zone 1, zone 2, exit. And a bell test button. And there was the connectors I wired up for the demonstration. So if we open it up, I've already took the screw out, obviously. Um, in time is this wire, which is for the connectors. So that's the exit terminals. Um, so it goes, where's my screwdriver to point with things? Right, so time. I'm doing this because my camera doesn't focus too good. There's a tamper circuit there which I've linked out and obviously um, that's actually zone 2 that says zone, that's linked out and so is the tamper. And there's the main which is zone 1 and that tamper's linked out. Then there's SCB for an SCB module for the bell box and bell plus and bell minus. And then 13 volts output. Um, there's also a little wiring diagram here which tells you how to wire the thing and obviously it says there uh, logic force so the factory would know what wiring diagrams put with what panel there's a little knob there which you can turn to increase the entry time and there's a knob there you can turn to increase the exit time or increase and decrease whatever you want to do so it says to the exit and entry terminals you can connect contacts and detectors um, same for the zone circuit and the main circuit and tamper and PA button gets wired to tamp so you, you'd put a PA button in the tamper circuit and you wire all this in parallel you'd wire the top boxes in series that's all parallel and my camera doesn't focus so it's hard to um, show you but if you were really here you could clearly see the wiring, wiring diagram and it's a simple diagram I think there's the quick key switch unit and that's those wires connect, get connected inside this little unit when it turns so in the front of the thing when you, when you turn the key it connects two wires in here and then the panel does the command what you've told it to do through the key switch um, I've connected this I connected this um, sounder to the bell terminals, that was just for the demonstration. And this buzzer that came with it had come unstuck, so I've restuck it down with double sided sticky tape, and that's in the buzzer terminals. And these wires, which aren't connected to anything, are the bell test wires. And I've not, um, I've not got the bell test hooked up, and there's some backup battery spade connectors which you would use to connect a backup battery and also on here we've got the tamper switch there and that's what that little word above there says tamper here as well we've got the mains in terminals the circuit board which you connect the mains wire to and then out of that comes a transformer so you put your mains wire in it goes into this circuit board and then out the circuit board it goes into a transformer which transforms the voltage from 240 volts down to 12 volts or 13 volts depending on the panel, in this case 13 as we have a 13 volt output marked there so this takes it from 240 cancels it down to 12, well to 13 volts in this case and sends this down this wire into the circuit board and that's really all there is to it and obviously a backup battery would start working if the mains power failed. Um, if I lift up this little wiring diagram you can see 
the stuff behind it. So there's capacitors, diodes and microchips and all the stuff to do with, um, <laughs> well, very professional, all the stuff that alarms have on the circuit boards basically. Um, LEDs there for the indicators on the front. You'd cut that diode for dry battery. And that link gets cut for auto reset. And that link has been cut, so this panel is set to do an auto reset if it goes into alarm. So that's it. It's got a little ADE symbol, as this panel is made by Advanced Design Electronics. Danger 240 volt AC supply, and that's that tells you about the wires. And that's really it. So that folds back down again and goes goes like that. So then the engineer had know how to wire it because it'd be tell. It's pretty self-explanatory anyway, really. It's just that some extra help if you need it and a bit of advice on what where to wire things. So it says here, sound a circuit marked for SCB so that would be connect your SCB into terminals A and T because that's what they're marked. Other sounders into B and D and B and D is plus and minus live and neutral. Little fuse there as well for the bell or the power. I'm not sure which one. So I just sort of show you inside this panel as per request. That's what was requested. Last thing um, mounting holes there and that's it that's everything about this panel that there is to know really um, not very professional I didn't go into great detail but it was a request to see the inside of this panel so that's what I've done so thank you for watching this video clip and I'll see you later bye bye